Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, I'll be solving one more problem on capital gains. Mr. B acquired a land on 1-1-2007 for 2 lakh rupees. He entered into an agreement. Okay, so here very important this type of problem we have not solved till now. So listen carefully. He entered into an agreement to sell the land to Mr. Yes on 1-1-2010 and received rupees 50,000 as an advance money. So since you all know that this selling of land and all will not take place in one single day. It is a long procedure. First you will pay the advance, you will take the documents, you will verify the documents and then only you will have the final settlements in various installments. Similarly here first they have entered into an agreement and they have received 50,000 as an advanced money. Mr. Eds could not materialize the agreement means he didn't want to continue the agreement or he didn't follow the agreement. Therefore, Mr. Balaji forfeited rupees 50,000 on 36, 2010. So he cancelled the agreement means the advance money will be not given back. Okay, he cancelled the agreement. Mr. B finally Okay, this is Mr. Not Balaji, it is Mr. B. Mr. B sells the land on 1 2 2003 for rupees 20 lakh. Okay, to Mr. T, compute the taxable amount of capital gains. If your people listen, if your people have listened it carefully, I had told you in the introduction part one video that any amount forfeited before 2014 so before 1 4 2014 any amount if it is forfeited then we will subtract that particular amount from your uh, cost of acquisition 2014 gina munche 2013 14 year gina munche yavudadru amount na forfeit maadi dira anta cost of acquisition in the minus maartivi one the vele at the admin in the other after 2013-14 year any such forfeiture if it has been done then that will be shown in income from other sources and it will not affect capital gains. So 2013-14 admin a yao de rithiya forfeiture aagi de anta heledre adhuna nao capital gains head of income ali consider maado dila adhuna nao income from other sources ali treat maad tibi so this you need to remember but illi forfeiture aagi da du yavaga here the forfeiture has happened in the year 2010 that means we can we have to deduct that particular amount from the cost of acquisition so this is the understanding you need to have. Let us try to solve the problem. You will understand it in a better way. First, let us write the basic details. What is the type of the asset? The type of the asset is land. So when was it initially purchased? It was actually purchased in 1-1-2007. And when it was sold, it was sold on 1-2-2023. What was the sale consideration? The sale consideration was... 20 lakh rupees see here they have given he sold to mr t for 20 lakh rupees there is no any expenses related to sale consideration so you will write it as nil so your net sale consideration also will be 20 lakh rupees only from this you have to again deduct two items what are those two items first one is indexed cost of acquisition because it is an ltca indexation comes into picture so index cost of acquisition and index cost of improvement so in the question they have given fair market value if you check here no they have not given the fair market value so when they have not given the fair market value you will take actual cost only but here there is a four feature of amount so from the actual cost, you will subtract this four feature amount. Actual cost is two lakh rupees, but in that uh, the agreement couldn't be materialized. So the fifty thousand has been forfeited. That amount you will subtract. So two lakh minus fifty thousand. If you do, you get one lakh fifty thousand. On that we will find out the 
indexed cost. So one lakh fifty divided by two lakh. Uh, sorry, one lakh fifty divided by one twenty two. That is a CII of two thousand six and seven into your CII of previous year is three thirty one. If you do that, you will get four lakh six thousand nine hundred and sixty seven. This is your cost of acquisition. But there is no any cost of implement in the equation. But still, you write the formula because it carries marks. So I'll write it as nil. What is the total value? The total value will be four lakh six thousand nine sixty seven. That I will write it in the outer column. So my net sale consideration was twenty lakh. From that twenty lakh, if I subtract four lakh six thousand nine sixty seven, I will get gross LTCG that is fifteen lakh ninety three thousand zero thirty three. And there is no any exemptions in the problem, so I will write it as nil. And final answer, whatever I will get, that is fifteen lakh ninety three thousand zero thirty three. That will be considered as taxable amount of capital gain. This is how we need to solve the problem. Hope you have understood how to solve the problem. If you have any doubt regarding the forfeiture, you can put your doubts in the comment box so that I'll try to clarify your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the video. I'll come back with the next video as soon as possible.